What's up, man? It's your boy 16. If y'all rocking out with the channel, I want to ask y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who y'all want to see next. The name I see the most in the comment section, that's who I'm going to reach out to and try to get on my channel. If you really want to support, check out the links in my description. You can follow me on all my social media at 16 Shot on Visuals with a Z. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the video y'all came to see. What's this? You know, speaking of this music shit, a lot of people, this might be their first time seeing you, so you can show them how you coming on the rapper side real quick. Yeah, I got my I got my new shit for the drop. Actually, after I thought I leave this interview, I'm finna go shoot it, gang it up. Like I say, I've been out to get a sack, I'm thumbing like a teller. Niggas out here bogus, setting they homies out for mozzarella. Made it through the storm and suffer, did it all with no umbrella. Old niggas wanna preach and they wanna practice, ain't shit they can tell us. Thought he was my nigga in that jam, he was jealous of me. Now I'm sitting sick, on top of my pick, they put no bail above me. Goes to show you never trust the soul and always keep it funky. Grew up hating 12 and ever since it just been fucking hunky. Loving on the bitch was never for me, I can't make it up. Them gun toting steppers hit your block and make it dangerous. No matter where we at, I know my bro gon' keep that thing with us. You knew niggas not welcome they want that to feel that pain with us hit your party gang it up 1800 bang with us he said something about tony now his body somewhat angled up exotic and is russian but it feel like i'm off angel dust pulled up on his j to get some smokes and got that k with us you play with us your brains a bust but we just came to party i ain't here for none of you bitches hold you over you exhaust me glizzy get you straight if niggas try to snake and cross me and you begging before i hit find your way because little bitch you lost me <laughs> uh. Oh, and you bro. begging for I hit just find your way because the bitch you lost me. New chocolate thick outside of me, she about to color coffee. She brought me Remy in the morning, then she licked it off me. Now I'm done. Uh, it's all that gift right now. That's the, uh, what's the name of it again? Gang it up, man, on phone num. That's coming next to drop. Jiggy Music finna hit 175K. Like I said, it, this, I ain't gonna stun. It probably be out by the time this interview drops. So yeah. be on the lookout for that shit. I peeped in the uh in the song you just rapping, you had said something about uh jail and shit like that. So you end up doing jail time in the past? I mean no, like like I ain't never got like 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 told on or no shit like that, but that's a part of my story. Like my daddy got told on type shit. You know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. that that's some that's something I always kinda throw in my music. Yeah. You know. Is that like one of your fears though out here? It's like motherfucker. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's, I think that's everybody feel, bro. Like, yeah. cool. And then especially, like, majority of these cases, bro, be these niggas' best friends and, you feel me, cousins and, you know, niggas, niggas who slept in the same beds with you when yeah, you were shorties, hurt. bro. That shit be killer. Like, bro, that shit killer. You know, but, you know, only the strong survive, bro, and, and you feel me, only thing we could do is just stay blessed up and pray that shit don't happen to a motherfucker because shit is crazy. Speaking of surviving and shit, like, how is it for you now, you know, living in Chicago and moving? Like, do you move different now that you feel like you got more to lose? Shit, I always move different, bro. I'm not, I ain't gonna stunt, bro. I'm not one of the niggas that a lot of shit particularly happened to. You feel me? Like, I be, I've I been kind of moving a, a different type of way. So, yeah. so it's like, I don't know. Shit, moving different is kind of like an instinct now. Yeah. So people who really don't understand that, like, what would you, uh, how would you describe moving different? Like, so how? Shit, learn the real from the fake. Shit, that's the most I can say. Like I said, that go back to genuine, bro. You got to be a genuine motherfucker out here. If a motherfucker ain't genuine, bro, I ain't gonna stunt. At this point, it's fuck them, cause like, shorty niggas down, bro. Niggas getting killed. It ain't like, yeah. and it ain't nothing personal towards motherfuckers. It's just like, like, bro. It's so fucked up now. It's like. It's, it's everybody snaking each other. Like, everybody, and it's coming from everywhere, bro. Like you, you would never expect it. Like, the, like I swear to God, like it'll be yo, yo, best motherfucker. Like yo, 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 rappy, nigga. You was just with every day. Then the, the shop motherfuckers with you feel me? Yeah. Like, but you know, like I, I see that shit so much, just from going around the city doing interviews everywhere. It's like, damn, people can't even trust their own homies who who they thought they was their homies at least. Like. Shit fucked up. But it's forever a speak no evil campaign. You feel me? So. Yeah. so like, do you still go around places like by yourself, shit like that? Stores, parties, clubs? No. <laughs> Hell no. 
I ain't stepping in no club without my crew. What think? I'm a fool? <laughs> Hell no. No, like I ain't gonna stop. That's that's what I mean by moving different, bro. Like yeah. like you gotta you gotta use your connects with motherfuckers, you feel me? And and actually realize the type of motherfucker you is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like at the mall, we go through the back door. We don't go through the like we don't walk through the mall no more, bro. Like and then you feel me? If we gotta go to any other store, shit. Somebody getting sent in. Mm-hmm. A girl or something. Hell yeah, send their ass to or the drive through. Yeah, bro, with my mama. Like, that's what I mean by move different. You gotta shit, play smart, not hard. Cause the niggas be tweaking. So how is it out west? Like, cause you know, a lot of people look at out west a lot of different ways. Like some people look at it like it's it's a real fun place to see it up. Then a lot of people say it's it's fucked up. Like is it a mixture of both? Like, how would you describe? Shit, I, ain't, I mean, shit, I'm like, I ain't gonna stunt. Like, my era was fun, bro. Like, I ain't, like, I always been like a, a what a fun, that type of nigga. You feel me? Like, yeah. dang. So, I mean, I mean, hell yeah, it got dangerous at a point in time. Don't get me wrong, bro. Like, it, it really did, but shit, it ain't like, that ain't something that everybody didn't expect to happen, bro. Like, motherfuckers yeah. shoot motherfuckers back to back, back to back. Like, it was bound to get hectic, so. But like I said, bro, we be chilling. I mean, my niggas be chilling. What about like the current state though? Like, you do it, do it still feel the same? Like on some? Mm-mm. Uh, cause we can't go. Cause we can't go everywhere we used to go. Like we can't, we can't, we can't post up like late night how we used to. We can't, we can't be out too late. Like it's niggas watching us type shit now. You know. So yeah. it's like. So how is that, like, is that something that you just got used to or is it something that you kind of, like, don't like or? What you mean? Just knowing, like, you basically target a target now because a lot of people know you the type I, of city I got, you live in. I got used to it, but I got used to it because niggas was, like, niggas was low-key just saying little slick shit and little sneaky shit, saying I was doing shit. The whole time, I wasn't doing shit. It was just, it was just who I was affiliated with and, you know what I'm saying? Like. What the fuck is y'all talking about? <laughs> so, shit, if it's fuck me, it's fuck y'all anyway. Alright. It is what it is. So, that is something you gotta adapt to, but you you just gotta, like I said, bro, you just gotta know how to move. If you can avoid it, shit, avoid it, but shit, if a motherfucker gotta rock out, we gonna rock out, it is what it is. Mm, bro, you know, with this new fame and shit like that, like, uh, I know you said something like y'all can't really post up, post outside like that no more. But I know, I know that y'all I mean, be throwing we up. do, we do though. Don't get yeah. me wrong. We, we, shit, we out on the Maddie every day. But, like, I mean, what I mean by post up, like, we can't post up like late nights, and you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't be out dangling how we used to, how, yeah. how 2012 and 2011, no, 2011 through like 2014, Fifi days, we used to be out all night. Like, we can't do that shit no more. Yeah. <sighs> I was about to say though, I noticed that y'all probably be having like a lot of parties and turned events, shit like that. Like with that, I know the police probably be coming. Like, do they oh be my, knowing y'all? Oh uh, bro, we get kicked out of every fucking party we go to. <laughs> I swear to God, we get kicked out of every party we go to. Like, it's sick, shorty. Like, it gets to the point. It gets to the point. That's all we be having to do at the end of the night is to go back to the hood and sit on the hill. I swear to God, that's fucked but, up. On my mama, we gonna see better days, shorty. On my mama, cause so they, do they be knowing y'all personally? Like, do they know y'all music like that ever? You know, some folks pull up playing your shit. They say it or say bro, it rapping name. Them, them bro, them bitches is in our videos, bro. Hell yeah, they, know. <laughs> they familiar with our music. They familiar that all us rappers is like, shit. It's just their job to fuck with us, bro. But it's like you know, y'all music kind of different as far as like I feel like it ain't really fucking the city up. So do they kind of like? not be on as much dirt as they probably will with other people or I mean shit they just they just know us period like we they just know gang they know yeah. about gang they they know what gang then you feel me yeah. so it's like they don't care about them. exactly like we, they just be on bullshit cuz they know what a motherfucker capable of or they or what they think a motherfucker capable of or what we might be doing you feel me yeah they always will be a, a speculation that a police officer have especially like with the history we got like Gang affiliation and you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. so the area you grew up in, like, was it was it always how with the police? Like, was it drug area shit like that? Bro, police police was always around shit. 
Shit, I ain't, bro, I ain't, I ain't catch my first case until I was like 18. No, I was like 19, though. I think I was like 19, around the time my pops went to jail. Um, shit. Yeah, police was always around, though, bro. Shit, I just wasn't like, I just wasn't like out doing shit to get in trouble yet. You feel me? I always was somewhere with some hoes or something. <laughs> Speaking of your pops, like, what's y'all relationship like? Shit, that's my man's. I mean, shit, he taught me everything I know, like, far as surviving. You feel me? Like, he always told me, like, that's where I really get that genuine shit from. Like, he always told me, like, never become too grimy of a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. always be yourself. And if a motherfucker can't take you for yourself, it's fuck him. So, I always been in that type of attitude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, that's my that's my right hand, though. Free him, by the way. If you don't mind speaking on it, uh, you know, the reason he locked up is that's something you want to speak on? No, it's it's like... Yeah. It's too much shit on that, but free him, man. Free Lil' Mo. And Bro. That's all I like to say. You know, growing up, was there anybody you looked up to? On either, like, a role model or even just music? Shit, my pops, for sure. I always knew who my pops was, too. Like, my mama used to always tell me about him and shit, so low-key, I always used to be charged about him. She used to tell me good shit about him. You know? Oh, uh, yeah. So, um... Fires on the music, bro. I came up listening. I ain't gonna stop. I used to listen to all type of shit, N.W.A. and I mean Eminem, of course. Uh, Still listening to N.W.A. Num, Tupac, of course, Biggie. Um, I mean shit. I mean your typical, your typical every wave, like yeah. whatever was in when I was like four or five. My mom was like shit. Just kept going. Whatever era of music was in, I was listening to. So, so that you've been independent now. Have you, you know, had any conversations with labels? People reached out to you. Mm, I don't wanna, I don't wanna too much speak on that neither. Like, like I said, I want everything to be when it come, it come. When it happen, it happen. Yeah. But what, what is your plan? Like, what a label be? What you looking for, or what you want to stay? I mean, honestly, I, I'd rather stay independent for real, for real. Like, I'd rather. Like, like, the label gotta actually be talking some shit that I wanna hear. That's it, that's all. It yeah. gotta be, and, and I gotta look at the longevity of shit, bro. Like, that's a lot of, and that's what go wrong with a lot of artists too. They be signing contracts and they don't look at, like, the longevity, like, how shit gonna be in five years, how much money you owe this label, you feel me? If you stay independent, you ain't gotta worry about none of that shit, but. With would I take a label deal? Yeah, if they talk on the right shit. Uh, but I want creative control over all my music. I still want my masters. You feel me? Like I ain't gonna stun his labels. It's labels that handle that type of shit where you can actually keep your masters and shit like that. Like if I got to, I'll go to one of them type of labels. But um, nine times out of ten, I'll stay independent. Just until something better come along. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, shit. The numbers gonna get the. I think a lot of people problem. They be too thirsty because they be they be out here f fucked up, and then somebody throw some money in front of them. It's like anybody really that's fucked up. It's like it's hard to say no to that shit. But it's like. But you you just gotta you just gotta you just gotta know how to work, bro. You gotta yeah. know how to. You gotta know how to balance shit. Like that's how I look at it. I feel like they always regret that shit too, and I don't know because there's a lot of people. From this city alone, who, who should be way better off than where they at right now? Like they had it, like, and then that shit died down. You say fuck them, <laughs> fuck them, fuck <laughs> them. Ain't gonna start. If it ain't my niggas, then fuck them niggas. So what's your plan to, uh, you know, stay stay relevant? Like, do you plan to keep doing the same thing, or do you feel like you? You gotta switch it up, Girl man. Girl, the times. You gotta switch it up, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, shit. You gotta do what's in. If if you one of them niggas who who relevant on on what's in, who one of the niggas in the loop about what's always in. Like you know how to interact with motherfuckers. Like you know what's what's smacking, what's not smacking. Shit. 
That's it. Yeah. That's all. That's how you stay relevant anyway. Either that or create your own wave. Period. That's, that's, that's the you. best option right there. We just created our own wave. Yeah. <laughs> Heavy steppers, jiggy music. Go stream that shit. Yeah, that's why I, I ain't gonna lie. That's why when I be out, I be sending you them videos and shit to show you like that shit in every party. <laughs> like no exaggeration. Like it's so many video shoes I done went to, and the people, some of the people don't even be knowing who they be playing. They just know the song. Like that shit, every fucking way. Like yeah, man. Have you ever walked walked in somewhere and just heard that shit, bro? In a crowd full of people you ain't know, bro. I stand on Madison for like two hours, bro. You would hit like nine, ten cars come past <laughs> playing that shit. Plus my homies, like oh my homie, like shout out my homies for real, for real. Whole hood, rich young money, wife and SBG. Um, on my mama, like I love them boys. <laughs> oh, photo. Shout out my boy Fifty Shot, by the way. So you know, have you ever been in a situation though, like where you? Heard your music and you like told them like, hey, that's me you playing, hey. Mm -mm. Uh. <laughs> Shit, if they don't see me, they don't see me. I don't like, I like attention, but only from hoes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like only females. That's cool. Like I be like, yeah, you know who you was just listening to, right? Yeah. But <laughs> no, not niggas. Especially if a nigga be like, damn, his ass be going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he fanned out. Oh, bro. They got watch some niggas be back doing mm -hmm. niggas there. Hey, I got this nigga right here. Like, you know. On my mama and that, you feel me? That's 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 like I said, and that's that come with moving different. You feel me? Yeah. Like that type of shit. You can't get too big headed and be letting motherfuckers know like, oh yeah, shorty, that's me. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey shorty, we walk the band up here. Before we close out, is there anything you wanna say? Shout out, shit like that. Messages yeah. wanna get off your chest. <laughs> oh, photo. Now for real, for real. Shit, shout out my gang, man. Like I said, Hood Rich Young Money Wife and SBG. Um, shout out my mama the most. My babies. Shit, my baby mama. I'm finna lay shop on you soon. Self made Weezy. We got some shit going on. Um, Red Roster. Shit, like I said, my gang, my peoples. Um, Key Melly, we got some shit on the way. Uh, me and SBG Chemo got some shit on the way. Some more shit on the way. Some hot shit on the way. Um, Free Jack 7. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I get jiggy. I get jiggy. I'm off Remy in this Bentley Ram. Fishy, I got blicky. If you want me, then come get me. Uh, that's it, man. That's all I got to say. Hey, let the people know how to get up with you on social media. At Pronto Spaz Out. It's the same thing on Instagram as it is on Twitter. Um, Pronto Spaz out on Facebook. Um, what else? Shit. I mean, like I said, everything on my Instagram, everything on my Twitter, everything on my Facebook. Just get up with me. For sure. Let my fuck know who put up to do the interview with you. 16 shot him. Bah, 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 bah. I ain't gonna do that whole 16 though. <laughs>